Now we discuss about a stress strain curve is nothing but behavior of a wire under gradually increasing load. Means in this topic for a wire we are increasing gradually load means we are increasing stress in equal steps and every load we are finding the how much strain produced in the wire thereafter we are plotting a graph between the stress applied and strain. Here stress values are taken on x-axis, strain values are strain values are taken on x-axis, stress values are taken on y-axis. Stress is taken y-axis, strain is taken on x-axis, then we are plotting the graph. So, first of all, let us take a wire which is supported from a suspended from a rigid support. Support the wire having the original length capital L to which we attach a load like this. Now, gradually we increase the load in equal steps. Every time we find the stress applied and uh, strain produced means we calculate stress and strain like this stress is equal to what is the formula for stress applied force by area on, now on this wire how much force we are applying here is the force applied on the wire nothing but if the mass of this uh, load is m then its weight uh, mg acts vertically downward means this wire is being pulled down with a force mg nothing but mg is the applied force on the wire on the wire applied force is the mg now restoring force also mg so stress is equals to applied force divided by area area means uh, its area of cross section its area of cross section suppose is capital a suppose uh, the radius of the wire is small r then we can also write mg by pi r square now this is a formula here to find the stress m is the mass of the block or load which we attach here small r is the radius of the wire in this way we find the stress and how do you find the strain strain is nothing but here which type of strain is produced here tensile strain is produced here strain is equals to change in length by original length increase the length by original length increase in length is delta l by original length is capital l every time for each value of uh, capital m how much uh, elongation produced delta l and original length is l by dividing these two values uh, we calculate the strain now in each step we are finding the stress and strain values means uh, for each load we suspend here we are finding the stress and strain values these values are taken on uh, x and y axis strain values are taken on x axis stress values are taken on y axis then we are plotting the graph suppose initially no load is attached to the wire means uh, zero mass is attached here if mass attached is zero mass is zero then stress is zero if uh, mass attached is zero if stress is zero no elongation is produced elongation delta l zero then strain also zero means uh, for stress zero strain also zero the corresponding point in the graph is the origin now we select the point in this way now this is y axis and this is x axis strain values are taken on x axis stress values are taken on y axis now initially when we do not attach any load stress is zero strain also zero so the corresponding point we are getting in the graph is the origin whose coordinates are 0 comma 0 means strain is 0 stress also 0 thereafter we are increasing the load in equal steps for example first of all we attach the 100 grams load then mass m is equals to 100 grams here g is the acceleration due to gravity at a given place so we know this is 9.8 divided by pi and r r is the radius of the wire by substituting all these values you get stress value and when we attach here 100 grams load then some elongation is produced that elongation is the delta l by original length is l by dividing these two values you get strain value then we take the corresponding point in the graph here means uh, the corresponding point for the stress and strain suppose this is the point for the stress and strain this is the point for 100 grams load this is the suppose the uh, strain what we got here now this is a corresponding point like this uh, for every load which we attach here here we are increasing the loads uh, in equal steps first we attach the 100 grams then we find the stress and strain value thereafter we are attaching more 100 grams 
so that total load here it is 200 grams for the 200 grams load uh, now how much is the stress and how much is the strain we find here we take the corresponding point in the graph thereafter increasing the load by more 100 grams and uh, the total load is now 300 grams in this way we find the stress here to find the stress 300 grams into 9.8 pi value 3.14 it's a radius all are substituted you get a stress value and for 300 grams load total elongation is delta l by original length is l by substituting this you find the strain value again you find the corresponding points corresponding point is taken in the graph like this all points are joined uh, then you get a graph now the nature of the graph is like this now here i'm drawing the graph directly then after i will explain you the graph On this graph, we identified some different points. Now, these different points explain the nature of the graph here, nature of the wire under increasing the load. Now, this is the origin. This is the point P. This is the point A point y point t point b here in the graph we are having five points five various points p e y t b what is p here p stands for proportionality limit e stands for elastic limit y stands for yield point t tensile point b is the breaking point now let us try to understand how this graph is plotted how this graph is drawn Yes, see here from O to P the graph is a straight line. The graph is a straight line means uh, under what conditions you get you get a straight line graph whenever there is a direct proportionality between stress and strain then only you get the straight line graph. Like in mathematics uh, you have a graph for y is equal to mx a straight line y is equal to mx is the straight line passing through the origin is nothing but here m is the slope which is constant here we write uh, y proportional to x. Here y is the stress, x is the strain. Means uh, when stress and strain are proportional to each other, the graph is the straight line. Means up to the point P, stress and strain are proportional to each other. So that up to the point P, the graph is the straight line. Which means up to the point P, the stress and strain are proportional to each other. Means uh, Hooke's law is obeyed up to the point P means the wire is obeying the Hooke's law up to the point P so that the point P is called here proportionality limit proportionality limit is nothing but the maximum stress up to which the wire obeys the Hooke's law is called here proportionality limit at point P there is a particular stress here up to this particular stress uh, the wire is obeying the Hooke's law so that point P is called here proportionality limit thereafter by increasing the load then which point we got here elastic limit why e is called here elastic limit why because uh, up to the point e the wire retains uh, its uh, elasticity property it is nothing but up to the point e at any point if you remove the load if you remove the load attached to the wire the wire regains its original length 